Kariuki was a name that resonated through the bustling markets of Nairobi, the sprawling estates of Thaika, and the serene farms of Nairi. He was a renowned businessman, known for his sharp acumen, generosity, and unwavering commitment to his roots. Born in the heart of central Kenya, in the verdant hills of Kiambu, Kariuki was a proud member of the Kikuyu community, the largest ethnic group in Kenya, known for their entrepreneurial spirit and deep-seated cultural traditions. The Kikuyu people have a rich heritage, deeply connected to the land they call home. They are predominantly agriculturalists, cultivating coffee, tea, and a variety of subsistence crops. This close relationship with the land is not just a means of survival but a spiritual connection that ties them to their ancestors. The Kikuyu believe in Nai, the god who resides on Mount Kenya, and in the spirits of their ancestors who watch over them and guide their actions. Kariuki's journey to success was rooted in the values imparted by his parents, Mzi Kamau and Mama Wanjiru. Mzi Kamau was a respected farmer, known for his wisdom and fairness, while Mama Wanjiru was a skilled basket weaver, her creations sought after in the local markets. They taught Kariuki the importance of hard work, integrity, and community. These values were reinforced by the Kikuyu belief in Harambi, which means pulling together. This spirit of collective effort and mutual assistance was the foundation of Kariuki's character. From a young age, Kariuki exhibited a keen interest in business. He would accompany his mother to the market, observing how she negotiated with buyers and managed her earnings. He was fascinated by the bustling activity, the exchange of goods and ideas, and the potential for growth and prosperity. As he grew older, Kariuki started his own small ventures, selling fruits and vegetables from their farm. His natural business sense and determination quickly set him apart. Kariuki's big break came when he decided to venture into the coffee trade. The Kikuyu had a long history with coffee, and Kariuki saw an opportunity to connect local farmers with international markets. He established a cooperative, bringing together small-scale farmers and negotiating better prices for their produce. His cooperative thrived, and Kariuki's reputation as a fair and successful businessman grew. Despite his success, Kariuki never lost touch with his roots. He was deeply involved in his community, funding schools, healthcare facilities, and infrastructure projects. He believed in the Kikuyu philosophy of Kubuntu, the idea that one's humanity is tied to the humanity of others. Kariuki knew that his success was not just his own but a reflection of the collective effort and support of his community. One day, while attending a family gathering at his ancestral home, Kariuki was approached by his nephew, Mwangi. The young boy looked up to his uncle with admiration and curiosity. Uncle Kariuki, Mwangi began, how did you become so successful? Kariuki smiled and placed a hand on Mwangi's shoulder. Success, my boy, is not just about making money. It is about staying true to your values, working hard, and helping others along the way. The Kikuyu people have a saying, Mandu enai mandu enai wega, which means a person is only a person because of others. Always remember that. Mwangi nodded, absorbing his uncle's words. Kariuki continued, our ancestors taught us the importance of integrity, respect, and community. These values are our foundation. They guide us in our actions and decisions. Never forget where you come from and always strive to give back. Kariuki's words resonated deeply with Mwangi and everyone who heard him. They saw in him a living embodiment of their cultural values and aspirations. Kariuki's success was not just a personal achievement but a beacon of hope and possibility for the entire Kikuyu community. As the sun set over the rolling hills of Kiambu, casting a golden glow over the land, Kariuki stood with his family, gazing out at the fields that had nurtured him. He felt a profound sense of gratitude and fulfillment. He knew that his journey was far from over and that there were many more dreams to be realized and lives to be touched. With his unwavering belief in hard work, integrity, and community, Kariuki was confident that the future held endless possibilities, not just for him, but for all who walked the path of their ancestors. 
And so, Kariuki's story continued to inspire a testament to the strength, resilience, and entrepreneurial spirit of the Kikuyu people rooted in their rich cultural heritage and driven by a vision of collective prosperity and harmony.